Hello, hello, and welcome to the update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin saw a little bit of volatility here around the um, opening of the US stock market, but it wasn't really a reliable move up. It was also only in three waves, really. So there was no reason to get super excited. Um, yeah, as I said before, this could be a WXY pattern to the downside. That move to the upside actually gave us, let's say, a clearer pattern, in my opinion. So we could say that this off the high here at around mm, 16,960 was just an A wave down. We put in here an ABC structure and this is now the C wave down. Now, the only concern I have with this is that this might be running out of space here, this C wave. Um, oops, didn't want to do that. So, um, yeah, it, it really, I mean, irrespective of the subwave count here, um, it is important that the B wave that we've been tracking find support in this wide support area. So let me actually see if we take the low of the A wave and add it to the high of the of the B wave, because this is the first possible, or let's call it the first likely target for a C wave. We're looking here at the uh, 16,396 level, the one to one ratio. Normally you would say a C wave, the very first target is the 61.8% extension of the A wave but this is normally a less likely target, but we need to be ready. Whenever such a target area is reached, we need to be ready for a turnaround. Does it mean it's a reliable pattern? Not really at the moment, it's just far too choppy. We've had just a lot of rejections up there at this resistance area between 16,910 and 16,930. That's eventually where Bitcoin needs to get above. So if Bitcoin now turns around at some point here in this wide support area between the two Fibonacci levels that are relevant here for this move. We talked about that in the previous video as well, uh, between 16,377 and 16,580. If it turns around anywhere in this support area, and this is the support area for this B wave. Just to show you, pattern idea is A, B, C. So this is the relevant support area. If it turns around in this area, the first indication that we are indeed or the, the confirmation, I would say, you know, uh, as good as we can get it as soon as possible, um, or the, let's say the best confirmation that we can get is a move above this B wave, which is at 16,770. So if we move above that level, it would be a really strong indication that a low has been put in here and we are moving higher in this C wave to the upside into the region of, yeah, I would say at least 17.3K, maybe higher. What happens if we go lower? So, as I said before, a move below 16,450 plus minus a few dollars, yeah. Um, if we are on the safe side, let's call it 16,430, um, would, you know, increase the likelihood this is breaking down. I did give it a little bit more space just due to this, due to the fact that this could be an ABC and the C wave down. Again, the one to one ratio lands more in the lower end. But if we go strictly by the Fibonacci retracements, it's the 16,450 level here that below that level, this Y wave of B gets less likely and it is less likely that this B wave is going to hold support. The last resort here for the bulls, I would say, uh, or at least the short term bulls would be to find support at the 88.7% FIB level, but then really below 16,290. Um, yeah, I, I can, I can, I'm leaning very, very strongly towards the blue count. Yeah, or again, already below the 78.6% level, um, the blue count, I mean, not even the blue count, it's it's sort of more the bearish version of the blue count, because at the moment in the blue count, we are saying we have an ABC, we would at least get sort of into the 17.3K region. But if we get below those levels, we have to be prepared for a direct breakdown. Yeah, I did mention that risk before, that we could break down directly without making a higher C wave. And we have to consider much more that much more closely. If we break below that wide support area, um, we would theoretically still have a chance to turn around at 16,290, which is the low here from the, I think it was the 20th of uh, December. And if we then break below 15,880, I mean, that would be the final confirmation really for the blue count that we cannot expect any more upside in the C wave. Again, always noting that B waves can do funny things. They can be very unpredictable. So we need to be ready, really. What I cannot rule out is even if we go below that wide support area, that we still see a higher C wave. I just need to mention that because we are in an, 
this is morphed into an, a, a corrective wave pattern, which is fairly unreliable. So be aware that trading this will mean that you might get stopped out, you will get frustrated. So be careful, yeah. Um, I can always only encourage people because some people just trade for the sake of trading. They just want to trade, but just encourage, I just encourage, always try to encourage to think at least about, you know, what are your five star setups, four star setups. Don't trade one star setups, you know, just because you want to trade. Um, your money is far too valuable for that. So if, if, if a chart gets unreliable or, you know, trading a B wave, I, I, I always encourage people to stay away from trading a B wave because if we know or if we can assume we are in a B wave, then, you know, you, these can do funny things, as I said, because B waves can go, for example, below the beginning of the A wave. They can stretch out further and still go up. So that's sometimes why it's best to wait for, for clarity. Um, but this is where we are, you know, and there's no way around it. So Bitcoin, what Bitcoin needs to do to still, with a high likelihood, move up in the C wave is to hold the white support area, get above that B wave high, and then break above the X wave high here at 16,950. Um, if we break down, then it will increase the likelihood of a direct breakdown into the 14K region, maybe even lower. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.